For this blog, I want to talk about um, adding links into your items and having those links available to you uh, in Navis. What I have here is a valve, um, a NIPCO valve, that as of right now, when I go into the item properties, there's no links tab uh, for me to take me to the uh, information about this valve. So let's go ahead and add it. I'm going to use the execute script command. And if you're running the uh, value pack from applied software, uh, you'll have this script. I'm going to go ahead and click open and select the item. So I'm being prompted for a description. I'm gonna, you can pretty much type in anything you want here. And it's asking for the website <clears throat> or the document location. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna link it to a website, but as you can imagine, um, if that manufacturer decides to update their website uh, and they change the links, uh, your links will no longer work. So a best practice would be to save the PDF onto your uh, local drives. That way uh, you know that these links aren't going to change. So if it's a multi-page PDF, uh, we're now given the option to put in the page so that not only will it pull up that PDF, but it'll take me straight to that page number. Uh, for this example, this is just single page PDF. I'm going to click OK. All right, so let's go back into the product. OK, so now we have a links tab. If I select on the links, it takes me straight to the product sheet. That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> so let's take this out into Navis. All right, so we've got it in a Navis and looking through the tabs here on the right side, I'm not seeing any links. Um, I have my links turned on, but still nothing to click on, right? Let's go back into CAD <clears throat> and let's use the append items link command. And I'm gonna select on the item and click OK. So now when I hover over this item, you'll see a little hyperlink show up on the top right of my cursor. All right. If I right click, come down here to hyperlink. This is the regular AutoCAD hyperlinks feature. Uh, we can edit the hyperlink. OK, you'll see product information is the text to display. And here's the location. So now, let's take this back out to Navis. I'm going to hit refresh. And now you'll see my hyperlink icon here showed up. I can turn that off by turning, uh, deselecting the links up here in the ribbons. All right. If I select on the item, you'll see we have a tab over here called hyperlinks. Okay, so again, from within Navis, uh, we can get to the information regarding this specific item. The only word of caution would be if we were to run the append item links command on a large model, uh, w when we come into Navis and turn on the links, we're going to get a flood of hyperlinks in the model. Uh, <clears throat> Just be aware that, that's, that that may be a little bit uh, too busy. Uh, you'll need to get closer to your item, perhaps isolate it, to make sure you're able to find the correct uh, hyperlink to click on. 